It's Super Bowl Sunday, and Super Bowl Sunday is always a big day for trailers dropping. My most anticipated movie of the year is Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And we just got a new trailer for it. Let's do this. New trailer. There, there we go. That's... I get it now. Are you familiar? with the concept of evolution. In their time, humans were capable of many great things. Noah! They could fly like eagles fly. They could speak across oceans. But now, it is Side by side. Impossible as that may seem. Why do they hunt her? She's smarter than most. The elders did not tell us everything about this world. Bend for your king. Apes hunt humans. As I mentioned before, this one is my most anticipated of the year. I do have certain question marks surrounding, but I, I loved the last trilogy of films. I just, it's one of the best trilogies of films of all time. And while we don't have Matt Reeves returning to direct, of course, he's doing Batman 2, and we don't have the director of Rise of the Planet directing, we have the same kind of story group. And as much as I, I give... Love what Matt Reeves did. I also think Rise was great. Totally different director whose resume outside of that film is not particularly fantastic. And so much of what does make these really good is the story work and finding great drama that's so human and, and being able to develop out these characters the first teaser gave us the the vibe, the energy, the, the context of our story. This one gives us a lot more plot of what's kind of going on, where the world of the apes are at, what they're curious about, and kind of what's thematically what we're dealing with, with humans, evolution, this girl that's special and everything kind of going on with that. What's that conflict that's going to lead to our story and our, our new hero emerging? And you get a, that's, that's, I think one of the big concerns we, a lot of us have had is like, can they have another character? Uh, I don't think that has to be as strong as Caesar, but can you have another great character that can carry it like Caesar? Uh, I, I think Caesar might be the best character of the last decade. So you don't have to be that good. You don't have to be the best of a decade, but you have to have one strong enough to carry the drama where you're rooting for this character that they're so well-developed and interesting. And so much of what they were able to do with, with Caesar was because we followed him from something very relatable of being raised by humans. And then you track him throughout the collapse of our world and his rise to power. 
and so it, but it started somewhere that felt very human, very normal, very close to home. And can they find a way to do that in a story that starts off so detached from our world? Will, will that work? And I think this one gave a flavor to it of how this would be a character that would have that, um, those qualities that you just root for him and what he's trying to do. Um, and then with the humans on the also, likewise, they anchor your story a little bit. And in this, of course, if you have humans that can't talk and only one that's a little bit smarter, does that work? How, how does that work? And so kind of interesting, what, what exactly are we kind of doing here? What, what is this story? So you've got this one human that's a little bit special and different. So we're flip. If Rise of the Planet of the Apes was a flip on Planet of the Apes where this one guy shows up and he can talk. He can talk, 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 he can talk. I can sing. And now we flip it, Rise, and now we have the Caesar he could talk. And then we flip it again and we go, she's different. Maybe she can talk. Is that kind of what our what our story is? Are we back to doing Planet of the Apes? But from kind of a different perspective. I mean, obviously not doesn't seem like we're doing the spaceship stuff, uh, with everything kind of going on there. But what what exactly is kind of the take here? So um this trailer did its job. This was, continues to be, one of my most anticipated of the year. Can't wait to check it out. Looks like a solid addition. The Our director, I, I like, I'm not a big Maze Runner guy, so I, I can't say that I'm as big of a fan. But as I said before, like, our guy that did the first one was able to pull it off despite hit the rest of his resume not being quite as strong. So I'm... I'm not as not particularly worried about that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on all of it. You can check out some of my other Planet of the Apes stuff around here and my other trailer reactions for Super Bowl stuff. Uh, keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye-bye.